Tony D and Little Joan with a screenwriter's rant on the Emu War. Uh, a very silly movie about a war that didn't really happen, or maybe it did, but it definitely wasn't against actual emus. And it happened in New Zealand, and it's just a crazy, funny movie. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Check out my books. Links in the description. Comedy Horror in South Jersey. It's the Pioneers, books 1 through 12, available at Amazon.com. Don't forget, Kindle Unlimited is free. Uh, and speaking of plugs, please check out uh, JEC, uh, one of our uh, friends over at the live stream. His name is JEC. He always uh, visits by saying, hi, hi, hi. JEC has a comic book he's raising money for. It's called Pissant Apocalypse, and it's uh, on Kickstarter right now. So if you do a search for Pissant Apocalypse, P-I-S-S-A-N-T, Apocalypse, uh, the video should come up, and then you can go to the link. Uh, it's a 165-page graphic novel. It's pretty good. Very much like a dystopian um, a heavy metal kind of story. So check it out. Uh, it's very funny. A lot like this movie. Anyhow, the movie takes place in New Zealand and the emus attack in 1932. And these guys have to fight him. And at some point he's captured by the emu queen and has to drink her milk. And it's very disgusting. There's a running gag in the film where they... <laughs> Emu USO show. Um, there's a running gag in the film, and they say, "Oh, we have to kiss to keep warm." So they just kiss, like, and then one guy goes, uh, "Okay, we got to kiss to keep warm. You feel warmer?" Eh, a little. <laughs> so that was pretty funny. Um, and they're fighting emus, so there's a lot of emu puppets in it, and a lot of very sort of deadpan humor about it. Uh, I'm not sure. I, I didn't quite get all the jokes, but a lot of them made me laugh. That made me laugh. Ah, oh, very gross. That This is the kiss scene. Made me laugh. <laughs> I mean, the effects aren't great, but um, I, I think it's kind of a funny, funny premise. It's very silly. I mean, it's like airplane level of silliness. Here, you see the puppets, the emu puppets. So first act probably starts out with a flashback. You know, t takes place after the war and they're talking about the war and then it goes back. And then we see how the war started and well, the terrible atrocities on both sides, which is ridiculous because they're emus. And uh, then eventually, um, ah, then eventually uh, one of the characters' sons is kidnapped by the emus and he has to go behind enemy lines to save him and kill the emu queen. And then the second act's all big wind up to that as they fight the emus. There they are kissing. They fight the emus and eventually uh, they save his son, I guess. But it's also a war, a parody of a war movie. So maybe they don't save him or lots of people die or whatever. But the emus keep attacking. Lots of emus die. That, that much I do know. I would say it totally. I don't think this is going to be in theaters here. I think it'll probably be in uh, uh, on demand at some point. Oh, I can't leave that on with that giant, giant uh, T word. Uh, let's read the write-up. Based on the infamous Great Emu War of 1932, the Emu War follows a ragtag platoon of soldiers who are driven into a brutal and bloody battle against Australia's deadliest flightless bird or beast. Haunted by the kidnapping of his son at the hands of the emus, Major Meredith leads a platoon behind enemy lines in order to kill the emu's leader, the Queen Emu. Uh, I'm giving it an upvote. I think it's funny. I think it's funny. Plus, everybody's from New Zealand, so they have that funny accent, which makes me laugh as well. I, I associate it with comedy after the flight of the Concords. Um, and uh, Rice Darby. He should be in this. Oh, God. Oh, if only Rice Darby was in this, too. Uh, but it looks good. I would totally watch this. I think it's fun. <laughs> uh, it's just very, very silly. I mean, it's going to be, like, crazy, ridiculous. You know, it's not... It's like airplane over the top. Hey, if you're going to do comedy, go for it. Go for it. The only thing that matters in a comedy is that it's funny. That's it. If it's funny from beginning to end, you won't care that there's no plot or it didn't end or... You're confused to what the end of the show was. Doesn't matter. 
if you laughed all the way through, mission accomplished. And uh, I did laugh in this trailer. So, good for you guys. Uh, I'm not sure when it's coming out. Oh, here we go. Directed by Jay Morrissey and Lisa fin Feinberg and John Campbell. Three people directed this thing. Um, Lisa Feinberg's in it. Are the other two guys in it? No. I don't recognize any of the names, but I think it looks very funny. I wish you luck with it. Uh, I'll be looking for it. Uh, I would expect it. It says coming soon. I would expect it to drop a couple of months in New Zealand and then, you know, it'll probably go right to streaming here. Maybe it gets a minor release. I doubt it, though. If it was a fancier movie, like if it was an art house movie, it wasn't a comedy, then maybe you could get some sort of release. They'll never release. Even in limited run, they wouldn't release this here. You would have to do like Fathom Events or something like that in order to get this a release here. Comedy just doesn't get any respect in the States, I think. Anyhow, that's it for me, Tony D and Little Joan. Check us out on Odyssey, BitChute, and Rumble. Uh, check out, again, check out JEC's Pissant Apocalypse uh, now on Kickstarter. Uh, check me out at the Golden Nugget Tavern in Berlin, New Jersey on Wednesday for Wing Night and How to Hunt the Jersey Devil. Hope to see you there. We'll see you in the next one.